All right, all right, all right. So, as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm excited about it. Um, I believe it was two years ago, I did a Thai long tail mud motor challenge where I compared the top, the, the most um, most recognized Thai long tails. So now I want to try to do the American side of it. So the American long tails. Now, real quick, this won't be immediate. I'm going to have to plan it out, get it all sorted out, but I am dedicated to doing it. And I do want to give you a follow-up on how my tie long tail is doing, how the wetlander is doing, the wetlander bottom coating, the slick bottom coating on the bottom of the John boat, and then um, how my deck and floor are holding up. Some people are wondering if the deck um, was actually holding water, if it had gotten heavier, and uh, same with the floor on the bottom of the John boat. There's foam under that and then plow it on top, so I want to see if that's absorbed any water, if it's gotten any heavier. And once I take them out, I'll also be able to weigh them and tell you how much my deck and my floor weigh. So that'll be soon. And then there will also be some product reviews and um, some new products coming up that would probably be good for Christmas gifts. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss those. And um, we'll go ahead and get into this video. So let's go to the paper. I got my pen. Got my blue tape. You always need blue tape. I may not know what I need it for, but we got it. And then, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. So mud motors. So for mud motors, you got two different groups, mainly. You got long tails. And you got surface drives. All right, so for long tails and service drives. For long tails, there's two different types. So under here, we got the Thai side and then the American side. For service drives, the way that I think of it now is one very small portion over here is kits and then pre-built. So for kits, you have mud skipper. And they're the ones who make kits where you can just buy your engine and then you can order the kit from them so it doesn't come pre-assembled and it's not the engine and the kit. It's not one whole mud motor, you just buy the kit from them and you get to choose the engine that you want. For long tails, there's kits and then there's pre-built also, but I'm not gonna focus on the pre-built ones because I don't see the purpose in them. You can get them, but they're outrageously expensive. And I think there's a point where I'd rather have a long tail more for uh, durability, longevity, and being all around just a affordable product. I think service drives are would probably be a great product. I haven't tested them. I don't know much about them, but I think service drives are more in the, if you have extra money and you really want it, then you can go with that. I think long tails more affordable, smaller boat, um, go anywhere you want. Service drives are a little bit more expensive, bigger boat, meant to push a big load. So for now, we're focused on uh, long tails. So ties, uh, the champion of that one was Swamp Runner. And then the American side. That's what I want to do this year. So this year, I know for sure that I want to do backwater. Backwater ink. And then the only other one that I've heard of is PPF. Right, so these are the 
only two American kits that are available that I know of or am aware of and they're the only ones that are well known or that I get a lot of people asking me about backwater and PPF the problem is the problem with backwater and PPF and trying to compare them is that backwater they offer multiple kits they have the the small kit the medium and the large this is normally your six and a half horsepower sorry six and a half horsepower your medium is normally 13 horsepower your large is normally that 22 22 or 23 uh, Predator. And that's horsepower too. The problem with comparing these two is that as of right now, PPF, they only offer a small kit. The issue that I have with that is that I don't want to get a small backwater kit because I want to be able to compare it to the Swamp Runner kit. So that's where I'm little in the middle in the mix of it right now because I do already have a medium backwater kit. And I ordered that and I have that. So we will be comparing the the backwater 13 horsepower whatever it's meant to fit the 13 horsepower engine. I will be comparing that to the Swamp Runner kit. But for this PPF I have not ordered it yet but I do want to compare it to the backwater and as of right now there's only those two that I know of so if you guys can let me know of any others that you want to see tested against that that are in the right price range uh, they're affordable they're well known um, just from my research backwater and PPF seem to be the only ones that are uh, worth comparing or putting time into time and money so for the We'll make this the American long tail mud motor kit challenge. And that'll pretty much be, I think it's just going to be between backwater. First PPF. So this is going to be what the American Longtail Mud Motor Kit Challenge. Now, if you really want to see another one, let me know down below. But um, for right now, I think it's going to be backwater and PPF. For surface drives, I would like to test the Mud Skipper Kit. Um, I think service drives or more for the bigger boats I think that's anything with anything that a long tail won't fit on so a long tail won't fit on a boat or ride properly on a boat that has a 48 inch or bigger bottom it can ride on a 48 inch bottom boat but once you start getting above 48 inches that's when the long tail really isn't going to do you good so any boat that has a bottom with wider than 48 inches you're going to want to surface drive once you start getting into that 17 18 foot range for length of the boat then you're starting to add a lot of weight um, you can do a long tail kit i just haven't run them that big yet but with having a a boat that big that i cannot physically move i was looking into a, a um, an 1836 or an 1838 boat and the manufacturer told me it'd weigh about 700 pounds and i cannot move a 700 pound boat by myself i can with a winch and all that but i like the long tails for a light awesome little boat that i can get anywhere and if i get stuck i can move that boat by myself i can move the motor by myself and it's not an issue when i get to a service drive that engine and mud motor that whole setup is going to be very heavy so when I get a surface drive, it's going to have forward and reverse. 
I need to be able to get that boater, that boat and motor <laughs> out of there. So when I think service drives, I think a big heavy rig that will plow through things and will get itself out of, out of situations. With the long tail, you don't have reverse, but you do have that long tail where you can maneuver it, slide around, and get going. So if you have a path that you know is water or mud, then the long tail will get you through it. But if you're going through uncharted areas where you don't know if there's water or if it's ground, I'd rather be using a surface drive so if I go where I'm not supposed to, I can easily put it in reverse and get around. Uh, long tails, if I get in that type of situation, yes, I can get out and I can move that boat and turn it by myself, pick it up and spin it around. But um, if I run aground, I'd rather want a, I either want to be able to move the boat by picking it up and moving it or the surface drive where I can just put it in reverse, let it eat and get going. So just to put some names out for the surface drives, I'll put these from oldest to newest. So the first um, mud, this is by the Mud Motor Company. So for pre-built, prefab, whatever you want to call it, we have Go Devil, Mud Buddy, that mud, Mud Buddy. We got Pro Drive, Gator Tail, Beaver Tail. Then we got Copperhead. Boss Drive, and then Mud Walker. So these are your pre-built service drive mud motors. So with these, by looks on their website, you got the engine, and then you have the mud motor built to it. They ship it in a crate, and that's how you get your mud motor. With kits, those are in a small box, and you have to assemble it. I don't know of a service drive kit besides Mud Skipper. Um, I wouldn't recommend any of them. I don't know much about them, but I would like to get into them uh, further down the road. Right now, I want to tackle long tails, try to figure out the best long tail, and then uh, once we get that, then I can move on to service drives. So, hopefully, I like to be the go-to for mud motors. Um, that'd be pretty cool. Have a lot of different mud motors and boats and being able to test different lengths and different widths and horsepower to size and um, being able to play with props and see who has the best prop and playing it like that so this is mud motors in group um, I do have a tie long tail mud motor group and I do have a mud motor group too so if you want to go there it's on Facebook if you want to see more of this let me know um, I will be working on the American mud motor long tail kit challenge and um, once we get the American kit settled out, see who's the best, and we'll compare it to the Thai Longtail uh, Swamp Runner and see which one is the best. The only big difference with the Thai and the American separating the two is price as of right now. The Swamp Runner, I believe that was around 500 But uh, the Backwater was really pushing. Um, I forgot what I paid for it. But it was, goodness, one second. All right, I'm back. So the the backwater ink for the 13 horsepower motor was $1,400. So backwater ink, that was $1,400. So there is a big difference there. Swamp Runner is $500. Backwater ink is $1,400. So just looking at the price, that backwater kit has to be three times more value than the Swamp Runner kit, and I see that very hard to beat. So um, we're going to go ahead, give it a test, and see what we find out. So go ahead and make sure to subscribe, like the video if you liked it, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. This is JT Gatoring.